What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video. Today we're going to be unboxing something that I've already owned once and decided to buy again. Spider-Man Advanced Suit from Hot Toys. That's right guys, we're back with another video. I have, uh, I'm taking the day to record a whole bunch of videos, so stay tuned for some content and all that kind of fun stuff. But I've got Spider-Man Advanced Suit from the PS4 game, and that game was freaking fun. I have not picked up the Miles game, I haven't tried it out yet, just due to lack of time. But, I'm, I do plan on doing that. Uh, but this Spider-Man figure, I actually used to own... I got it when it first came out. I don't think I ever did a video on it. And then over time, I cleared out a bunch of Marvel stuff. And as you guys know, that that does I got it all back. So uh, this was another one I need to get back. I am on the hunt for the Scarlet Spider. That's the next one I want to bring back into the collection. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Uh, eventually, I will buy that one again. Uh, but let's get into this one, guys. I've got Spider-Man Advanced Suit right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box. We've got a, a pretty normal Spider-Man box. It's really nothing crazy going on here. Nice little art design going on there with the, the suit kind of popping off of the uh, background. You know, it's a, it's a good-looking box. It is a video game feature, so we got that going on here. Here's a Spider-Man logo on the side. For anybody who's curious, it just says Spider-Man Advanced Suit. Uh, video game masterpiece 031 and then on the back we've got a bunch of spider people stuff now it does have nice little artwork there it does have a little uh, fold out flap here with some uh, you know effects going on here sorry for the lighting uh, right there kind of like his uh, spider sense tingling effects I'd never use those so it's not something I'm gonna take out of the box as you can see I already got the figure out of the box let's get that out of here and get into the figure which I have Right there. All right, look. We've already lost. We <laughs> have already. We've already lost a piece. Come here. Get back in there. Get get over there. This is what all it comes with. It does come with one extra thing, which is this little diorama backboard thing. I'm not a fan of these. I don't ever use them. Hence, uh, they, it's just going to go back in the box set. There you go. This is what we're here to look at, which is the Spider-Man. Uh, figure itself. We've got a pile of accessories, which is one reason why I love Spider-Man figures to begin with. Because honestly, for the price of this, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of posing options. So we do have some switch out eyes. We've got our spider drone. We've got our, our doll. We've got a whole bunch of hands. We've got some wristed uh, web shooters. We've got, I mean, just so much stuff. And it's just, it's, it's a great figure. Uh, the material, we're going to get into this deep when we get into the posing section, but the material is great. We've got this stand, which is just a normal hexagon uh, stand right here from Spider-Man, dynamic flight stand, and, uh, you know, not a whole lot of craziness going on. Let me get all this stuff actually out of the package, and then we'll take a closer look at it. Um, let's do that. All right, so I've got all the accessories out of here, which is quite a lot. We've got our normal webs. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. We've seen these webs a pile of times. Got this guy. We got a little web attachment if you want to use this thing. That's fine. These are We've seen those a bunch. Those are reuses. I don't know really what else they could possibly give us for that. We do have some switch out eye pieces, which is nice. We've got this nice little thin slit of an eye that are definitely uh, magnetic, so that's pretty nice. And then we've got uh, a little wider eye. And then on the actual figure itself, we got a pretty big spider. I, I kind of like these, honestly. So I got those. Pile of hands. We got some. I guess we can show you this right here. More of a relaxed hand, more of a flying around hand going right here. And then we've got fist hands. We actually have, uh, yeah, a couple sets of these things. Uh, we got fist hand. I love the paint wipes on these things. We've got a thwipping hands. Yes, I said thwipping. There we got that guy going on right there. And uh, more like web wall crawling hands. These are pretty nice. Uh, we got some gesturing hands. This is actually what he used uh, in the game. One of those uh, when he was kind of talking to people and whatnot. Uh, we got some grabbing hands. This is going to be for his cell phone, which we're going to break out here in just a second. And then we've got some web holding hands. So uh, there we go. So you can actually hold uh, either some of the, like the drones uh, or actually there's a slot in there for the webs to go in as well so we've got all kinds of the spider drone is actually pretty freaking cool big fan of this thing i remember this and this is like one of those things like you wouldn't expect as an accessory but hot toys went ahead and said made, made it happen anyways these are actually bendable so they are actually rotatable so you can rotate these guys and have them posed out however you like so that's pretty nice we got this which is another awesome accessory his doll big fan of that uh, we've got some magnetic deals going on here 
those you can actually stick those on your DTOF like uh, uh, frame and whatnot. Those are cool. We get two of those. We get some other bombs. I mean, the amount of accessories is really quite ridiculous. We actually have three sets of web shooters. So there's a set on here and there's a set right here. And you can see like the difference going on there and you can attach the webbing inside those little inserts. So we can have three sets of those. We get these guys right here, which are pretty nice. I, these aren't really something I would use because they're so small and I would lose them, uh, but they do fit um, kind of in this hand right here. If you wanted to kind of do that, you can do that. Uh, and then we've got our cell phone, which this, I think it was the first time we actually saw a cell phone from uh, a Spider-Man figure, but it doesn't have anything on the display. The Scarlet Spider has one as him taking a selfie. And then we get his little, uh, little communicator here. Super small, but nice to have. Uh, the base, which we've seen, nothing really super exciting going on with that. The figure, though, there's a lot of, a lot of hype going on around this figure. It actually sat around for a while and then uh, once the other Spider-Man figures started coming out, this one, and obviously it sold out, uh, this one started to go up in value a little bit. Um, you know, it's a great figure. It's a good Spider-Man figure. The proportions, he just lost a hand. You just saw that. Uh, the proportions are great. Uh, and we'll compare them next to like the Tom Holland Spider-Man in a little bit. Uh, but the proportions are great. This is definitely an adult Spider-Man versus the teenage Tom Holland, uh, but the shoulders, the V, it just, the proportions are great. Like the sculpting on it, you can see like the, the under armor and the, and the muscles and whatever. It just, it just, it's just a good looking Spider-Man figure. And the suit is quite durable. I remember posing this one quite a lot and it does bunch up and it does, you know, crease and whatever. But if you leave it, leave it uh, for over time, it, it goes back to normal. This is a, uh, this is not a not a, a figure you got to be scared of posing, uh, but it does have this white Spider-Man uh, spider logo on the back, which was definitely controversial when it first came out, but it was in the game, so there's that. And instead of a cloth uh, held head head portrait head masked portrait, um, it's actually uh, plastic, so it actually looks pretty good next to the actual suit. So big fan of this versus the cloth ones. You don't have to worry about that. Magnetic eyes, we can uh, do whatever we want with that, and we got ratcheted joints. You can hear that. You can pretty much do whatever. Boom. And you can see the material is going to bunch up, but it's a Spider-Man figure. Like, you can imagine the creases and stuff he has in his actual suit um, in real life, because, you know, Spider-Man's real and all. Um, we got ratcheted joints down to the hip. No ratchet on the double knee, but you really don't need it. And then uh, you got some toe articulation going on down here. So it's, it's really quite, quite posable. Look at those shoulders, man. He didn't skip shoulder day, right? So there's that. Uh, double bend on the elbows, no issues with that. Just overall, a Spider-Man figure that honestly is a great figure. Um, I think this material right here is probably an ideal material. I think the only other suit that would be better than this uh, would probably be the Scarlet Spider material, but that is 3D printed or screen printed on the actual material. Uh, the texture, so when you bend it, it kind of sticks to itself. So that's one of those things that definitely is a thing. Um, but this one right here, I'm, I'm totally okay with this material. I like it way better than the MCU Iron Spider material. Like that that suit is is difficult. I mean, you can do what you want with it, but it's 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 kind of finicky. Uh, as far as articulation goes, I mean, it's not going to get crazy in the ab portion because you can feel like there's some uh, rubber uh, padding going on to give him that like muscular look, uh, but. You can see, like, you can pretty much turn it however you want to do it. It's it's a, it's just a great figure. How far would it go backwards? Yeah. So walking pose is not going to be a problem. I love the toe articulation. Big fan of that, actually. But I really, really do quite like this. As far as the head goes, you can go up as far as you want to go for, like, flying poses. You can go down a pretty good ways, which is kind of crazy. And obviously, it's on a ball joint. You can have him look wherever you want. Uh, but I think, the, I think the appeal with this actual figure is the appearance like the shelf presence it has it is a good looking it's a good looking figure the amount of accessories is great um and i think with all the new spider-man stuff coming out like we've got the miles morales um uh, video game stuff coming out we've got these uh, into the spider-verse figures coming out with miles and gwen uh gwen stacy and and uh, spider ham and all that kind of stuff i think people are what they're doing is they're building a a multiverse of spider-man figures in their collection and I don't blame them because it looks amazing. So um, I'm going to break out uh, some poses in this guy. We'll kind of compare them to some other Spider-Man figures I've got in the collection. But 
you know, I'm super happy to have this one back in the collection. Uh, I did pick it up on Mercari, so uh, thank you to the person that sold it to me. Um, but it's, um, I'm definitely on the hunt for some other Spider-Man figures. I'm kind of building a little, little Spider-Verse myself in preparation of an upcoming movie, maybe. Uh, so, I don't know. What do you guys think of this guy? Did you pick him up? Did you not? Did you already sell it and buy it back like I did, which I've done a few times here recently? And um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to posing him, so let's do that. Right, guys, here we go with Spider-Man Advanced Suit. And look at this thing. It looks awesome. Check out this pose. I actually did this pose on a recent uh, Zoom meetup we have with the Patreon members about twice a month. And uh, we just kind of chat and post some figures. And this was one I recently did. So here's the Advanced Suit here. I thought it'd be super fun to have him throwing his uh, little doll back there. He does have a little spider bomb in that hand. And I think that's a pretty sick looking pose, honestly, with the display. Uh, if you missed the uh, other recent video I did, I don't know which one's coming out first, uh, but we also did a video on that guy over there. Uh, and then I guess we can kind of give you guys a little teaser. Um, there's Hella looking pretty awesome. So we're going to do another pose. As much as I like this one, I do want to do more than one pose for this video. So uh, let's have some fun with it. All right, guys, so here we go. Pose number two with Advanced Suit Spidey. And, uh, yeah, I got him. I caught him do taking a selfie. So there you go. And uh, look at this. This is freaking cool. Love this figure. Look at that. Got the selfie camera going on right there. Got the portrait looking amazing. And uh, look at that. Look, Ma. No hands. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. And we back this bad boy up. That's what it looks like on the display. So I think, if I can circle around here, I got stuff in the way, sorry. Um, I think that looks pretty freaking cool as I knock stuff around in the collection room right now. Uh, but there we go. An acrylic rod. He is literally just leaning on it. It's not attached to anything. There are no wires, no cables going on the hand, nothing on the feet. Uh, literally just hanging out right there so super fun now you will have creases in the uh, in the suit as you can see but honestly i don't give a crap spidey is meant to be spidey so there's spidey so let's uh let's do one more and uh, see what we can do all right guys final pose i've got spidey upside down walking literally walking on the uh, on the ceiling is he really Heck no, he's freaking Spider-Man. So there we go. This is what it looks like from this angle. It actually looks like, if I can get on this side, it actually looks like he is walking on the glass. So a couple of tricks to this one. Uh, actually, it took me a good minute to figure out how to make this one work. Uh, there are no attachments to his body. If anybody is wondering, there are zero attachments. He's literally balancing on that acrylic rod you see right there, acrylic rod. You can see it bending. Uh, he's literally balanced. There are no nothing connecting him to that other than just gravity. And the feet, or the foot, wanted to slip on the glass, as you can imagine. So I use a piece of double-sided tape to give him a little bit of friction. It's going to be hard to show up on camera. But there's a little sliver of double-sided tape right there to stop the foot from sliding on the glass. So... There you go. I think that looks pretty stinking sick, honestly. He's got a little little deuces going on right there. He's got a spite. It just looks awesome. It absolutely just looks awesome. There's my uh, that guy over there. Um, but he looks absolutely awesome. So pretty stoked with this. You guys can let me know which one of these poses was your favorite. And uh, yeah, let me know one, two, or three in the comment section down below which pose was your favorite. I do have a tutorial planned on how to make this stuff happen, how to do poses like this. As soon as the collection room is finished and that video's out, we're going to do a, a how-to on how to do these things. And uh, yeah, that's pretty sick right there. Like the boom, there's Spidey looking awesome. So I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you liked this video. If you, had, if you did, subscribe to the channel. Got plenty of more of content coming for you guys. And as always, click what you like. We will see you next time.